Okay, 14.2. Uh, again, I think this is something you guys uh, will be able to do and do pretty quickly here. This first example is a, is a good example. It says the table below shows the growth of a plant over a period of several days. And it says uh, graph the ordered pairs to show the plant's growth. And so um, here's the ordered pair. It's 1, 4, 3, 8, 5, 10, 7, 11, 9, 14. And you can see that they've listed them right here in the parentheses with a comma between each one. And then if you were to simply follow the, the growth of the plant, you can see it right here in step two. The convince me, let's take a look at that. It says, based on the data about how tall was the plant on day four and day eight. So remember this, the X value is the time and day. So these are the days right here. And so they're asking about day four and day eight. You should be able to do that. So I do want you to answer the convince me. Let's look at the guided practice here. Natalie is graphing a point, point T at 1 8 on a graph let me cut this out so we have a graph we can look at I'm hoping this will actually that graph won't work it's too small I need a bigger graph uh, let me cancel that is there one? Oh yeah this one will work let's grab this one copy it pull that over here Get a little bit bigger so everybody can see it. All right, here we go. Move this over. Okay, so again, Natalie's graphing a point, point T at 1 8. And it says, uh, should she move to the right eight units or up eight units? Well, let's just actually graph it here. So 1 8, what's the 1 in the X and the Y values? I mean, what's 1 represent? It's the X, that's right. Okay, and what's the 8 represent? Y. Always the Y. Those look kind of the same. That was terrible on my part. Let's do that again. And I'll pick something a little smaller here. This would be X, and this would be Y. That's a little bit better. Okay, so we'll go over 1 to right here. And then we're going to go up 8. And so here's... Here's the point. I'm even going to label it, call it point T. And so the question is, should she move, uh, move to the right eight units or up eight units? She would go up eight units because the eight is the y value or the y axis either way number two says describe how to graph the point cd um what are they talking about what am i missing here point cd Describe how to graph the point CD. What am I missing here? Uh, not now. Okay. I'm going to cancel that because I'm confused about something that's probably pretty obvious, but that's okay. That happens sometimes. All right, three through, three through six. Graph each point on the grid and label it with the appropriate letter. So I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to do number five here, letter G, five, two. I'm going to go over five and up two. I'm going to put a dot right there and I'm going to label it G. And you guys do the same thing with three through six. Good. All right, here we go. 7 through 18 looks like the same thing. Graph the point and label it. 
Um, anybody see a point that they're not sure how to label? Ms. Ramirez? Really, you can do every one of them. No problem. You already did it. Okay. Wow, you guys are way ahead of the game. Well, just in case, I'm going to do number 14. So 14 is letter Q, and it's 5, 0. Remember that X is listed first, and the Y is always second. So I'm going to go over 5, and then up 0. So it just stays right there, and I'll label that Q. Problem solving. All right, how is graphing 0, 2 different from graphing 2, 0? Well, you should be able to answer that. Number 20. Shane took a test that had a total of 21 items, and he got about 3 quarters of the items correct. About how many items did he get correct? Well, this really has nothing to do with graphing, but it does have to do with multiplication. So it's 3 quarters times 21 and you should all be able to do that by now number 21 point C is located at 10 3 um, point D is located at 4 3 what's the horizontal difference horizontal distance between the two points want to make sure you understand this question so I'm gonna label two points on this graph I'll use this larger one here just for example you guys pay attention I'm gonna put a point let's say a point right here and I'm gonna say a point right here the question is what's the horizontal difference of course it would help to know what they mean by horizontal is horizontal up and down or left and right what is it left and right, left and right. so don't worry about the fact that one is slightly higher than the other that's not what they're asking they just want to know the horizontal left to right difference so what would it what's that difference between these two just start counting one two three four five six when you get to the line that it's on that tells you right there so the difference between those two points would be six now going back to the question here they're not showing us you know they're not showing them on a graph so you'll have to in your book pick one of your graphs that have something that goes up to ten this one that I pulled out, does that have up to 10? It only goes up to 9. So you can make your own graph or kind of picture it in your head, but explain what, the, um, what is the horizontal distance between the two points. Eh, you don't have to explain it. Not worried about that. Just tell me the distance between the horizontal distance between those two points. Number 22, Laura buys three balls of yarn. Each ball costs four seventy-five. dollars She buys two pairs of knitting needles. Each pair costs five seventy-five. She pays for her purchase with two twenty-dollar bills. What's her change? Well, you guys can do that. Figure out how much she spent, and she paid. She had two twenty-dollar bills. What change does she get back? You can certainly answer that question. Number twenty-three. Looks like some more graphing. It says graph the points below on the grid at the right. You should be able to do that. Um, number 24, um, at what, how do you, okay, we'll just call him, um, let's see here, that's, uh, Mr. Delgado. <laughs> Mr. Delgado wants to connect the points to form a shape. What would be the most appropriate tool for him to use? And then use that tool if you have one to connect the points so these talking about connecting these two are connected so apparently when you do 23 it's going to make some kind of shape at least I'm assuming it is and they're asking what tool would you use to connect the points all right and 25 you can answer that 
Uh, Talia draws a map of her neighborhood on a coordinate grid. Her map shows the school at 1-6, her house at 4-3, and the library at 7-2. It says graph and label each location on the grid. Yeah, you guys can do that. Okay, going to end this. Bye. Bye. Stop Bye. 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 B